Saul Phillips going to be pinching himself a little bit over there. Juno, his team was up by 20 at halftime. When you got that big a lead, I mean, are you going in and saying, okay, we're going to maintain this 20-point lead, we're going to win by 20? Or I, I don't even know what you tell your team when you're up that big. You got to go back to all the cliches. They're a cliche for a reason, but score is 0 0 coming out of the half. And all right. Try and win the first five minutes of the second half, which they've done so far. But I tell you what, Saul probably feels like he's up seven, not 27. Just the way coaches think. Yeah. You're always waiting for that run. You're waiting for your team to go cold. They shot it extremely well, and you really can't count on that for a full 20 minutes. Switch to a zone here. Rare miss for Taylor Braun. He's 7 of 10. Eric Carlson back in for North Dakota State. Here is Hamilton, who's got seven so far here in the second half. 13 in the game. Pretty good show there by Jordan Auberg. On that play before, Diamond Hill picked up his third foul. He didn't make. Hamilton used the ball screen. That time, Lawrence Alexander made him use that ball screen. Your help is set up for that. Everybody's anticipating it. First two at the other end for Jordan Auberg. Nice. Petros out. Here's Sikora, the seven foot freshman. Wave a little bunny step there. Good help. Carlson pinched down. So did Taylor Braun. Right back to Eric Carlson. Oh. Three throws coming up. Coach Phillips was up, was up wanting that one to go for his senior. Alexander did a great job away from the ball defensively on that possession, guarding Hamilton before he caught it, not letting him get an easy catch. They were trying to run a little pinch post handoff at the elbow. And Lawrence just did a good job of beating him to the spot. Taylor Braun will get a break, and Hales back in with those three fouls. Two points for Carlson. 28 point North Dakota State lead. This is just amazing. Alexander now on Hamilton and the end one for Reggie Hamilton. Yeah. That time Auburn stayed back. And Alexander did a good job pushing him to his help, but uh, sometimes it's tough for those big guys to get down in a stance. Move their feet with those athletic guards. Sixteen for Reggie Hamilton. Back to a one-three-one now. Nice. Taken away from Carlson Hamilton. He's got Bader running with him. Oh, <laughs> Reggie. Can't do much better defensively than that in transition by the Bison, but kid can score. It is 18, 12 here in the second half in about eight minutes for Hamilton. Nice. Lawrence Alexander skips a three. <coughs> you see a little bit of the rust on Eric Carlson's game. Just takes time, just takes time. And fortunate for the Bison, Bader. Up short again on a three. He hasn't hit one yet. 11 and a half to go in NBSU by 23. It's never been more powerful. It's never been more fuel efficient. It's never been more BMW. The BMW 3 Series, the ultimate driving machine. Lease a new 2011 BMW 328i X-Drive. No down payment, $399 a month at BMW of Sioux Falls. Other games in the conference tonight as we get back to Summit League play in Vermilion, South Dakota, leading Southern Utah. 
With about seven and a half minutes to go there. South Coast State is thumping IPFW with about 10 minutes to go in that one still. And Oral Roberts, the conference favorite, leading Missouri Kansas City with about 11 and a half minutes to go. And if they are announcing this score in those gyms, people are don't think it's a typo. Shaking their head, yes. Had it nicely set up for Petros and threw it away. And Coach Campy's right on the button. Two more dribbles to get a be better angle on that entry pass. Mike Felt. <laughs> Bison have hit nine threes on 15 attempts. We'll see if that gets him out of that zone. MSU's had two turnovers and one made basket against that 1-3-1 one, one look. Hamilton again. Putting on a show now with 15 so far here in the second half, 21 in the game. Got him out of the 1-3-1, one, one, now in a 2-3. The KO somehow got it to Trayvon Wright. All started with that post touch to Bjorklund, got that zone to shift. That opens up penetration lanes. So many teams just want to shoot that three-pointer against the zone, but uh, you have to stay disciplined and attack with both the dribble and post entries. Once again, good job by Alexander defending before the catch. Penetration, good find. There's that first penetration in. Here comes the dribble penetration off of that. Wright looks like he's full of hot air, isn't he? Yeah. He's got 11. He got 11 from Trayvon Wright. 11 for Lawrence Alexander to go with nine assists. 12 for Dylan Hale. 21 for Taylor Braun. Once again, great job of secondary help by Taylor Braun. After Bjorkman had to step up and help, Taylor came down and covered on his guy. Uh, Valentine sneaking out and kicks back for a Hamilton three, and it works out. Three threes here in the half for Hamilton. He's got 24 now. How about that play? You gotta know your personnel. I, he knows, I guess I bet they've seen Hamilton hot a few times before, so they recognize when he's got that motor going. And last shot by Mike Felt. I like him shooting the three, but. He can get that one from 26 feet anytime he wants against his own. Want to remain patient but aggressive. Hamilton again knocked it away. Going to draw the foul against Lawrence Alexander. Nice job by the officials, not buying the bait on that. It was just a good contest. And just hope Hamilton's going to run out of bullets here pretty soon. Foul on Drew Valentine. And Reggie Hamilton going to get a break here. He is checking up some shots here in the second half. Hamilton is 6 of 11 from the field here in the second half. He's got 24 points. Goes out. Bison turn it over. Nate Zastro is in for the first time for North Dakota State. There's a couple assumed turnovers there by Dylan Hale. Whenever you make a pass, you want to see eyes and hands ready for it. You don't want to be too much like a quarterback where you're throwing timing patterns, throwing to a space before a guy gets there. Trying to run again for Petros underneath, padding for a second there, but another good Bison possession. You see 10 sets of eyes on the ball at all times. It's the right idea by Braun. 
to, uh, Zastro didn't know that Dylan Hale was trailing behind him. He probably, Hale had a better angle to receive that pass and finish. Another tough angle pass and another turnover on the Grizzlies at 16 on the night. North Dakota State led by 20 at the half and they lead it by 22 now. What can NPNet's totally reliable 100 gigabit network do for you? Transform the way you work at the speed of light. The Northern Plains Network from Mid-Continent, your connection to thousands of miles of regional fiber optics linked to networks nationwide to get wherever you want to go. And NPNet is expandable to meet tomorrow's needs too. Can you count on your network for all this? You can count on NPNet. Count on it. This presentation from Midco Sports Network is presented by Midcontinent Business Solutions, making your business better. Beautiful night on the campus of North Dakota State University. It was actually raining a little bit about a half hour before game time tonight. No snow in Fargo, and North Dakota State has been in control of this game all night led it by 20 at halftime led by 26 a couple of minutes ago their biggest lead has been 28 tonight Trayvon Wright stepped on the end line Trayvon's Trayvon's got to anticipate he'll be trapping in the corner you need to find a cutter or look diagonal to beat the zone kind of uh, made North Dakota State a little uncomfortable, that zone. It's kind of a mishmash between a 1-3-1 one, one and an extended 2-3. Both teams have turned it over. Got Lucas Perry here on a drive, and a foul on Hale will be his fourth. Both teams have turned it over 16 times, though, Juno, but NDSU is shooting it better than 60%, and Oakland is down around 40%. And shooting well often cleans up a lot of the ugliness. But uh, I'm sure Coach Phillips is not too happy with the efficiency in the last couple minutes here of his offense. And whenever you aren't efficient offensively, it puts your defense in peril, usually in bad situations. That was the first two points of the night for Laval Lucas Perry. Reggie Hamilton's got 24, nobody else in double figures for Oakland. Trayvon Wright rising up again, he's got 13. Good penetration into the zone. It seems like Oakland has to work so hard to cut it to 20, 22 points. And you know, all it takes is NDSU, one or two possessions, they're back up 22, 23, 24 points. That can be quite uh, discouraging. Now we're getting down with seven minutes left. Uh, they're going to start running out of time. As you saw, NDSU, or excuse me, Oakland lost their last two coming into this one. They have not had a three-game losing streak for years. And you look at their schedule, and they played Tennessee. They played Michigan at the Palace in Auburn Hills. One at Valparaiso. That's the game Hamilton had 41 in. They went to Arizona and lost by a dozen, but coming off that loss, it was back-to-back -back losses to Arizona and Western Michigan. And you look at the points that they've give up, given up in those games. I know they held Rochester to 62, but uh, other than that, it's been 73, 80, 82, 86. Especially on the road, you're going to have to be a little bit better defensively than that. You're going to have nights where you don't shoot well and you can't outscore your opponents. Mike Felt ties it up there with Valentine. Bison will get the ball. A lot of roll-offs tonight for Oakland. The Grizz had zero of those at halftime. Reggie Hamilton has hit those three here in the second half. Mike Felt adds another one to the NDSU total, and that is 10 of 17 on threes for the Bison.